And this piece has a little story behind it. Um, friends on Facebook one day was, was right, writing in the voice of favorite fantasy authors and putting his own name in as a character. <laughs> I'm not clever enough to use other, other writers' voices and stories, so I did the same thing in one of mine. Now, this is a scene from one I haven't read yet, in a in written yet, but in a series that I, that's ongoing for mine. Um, I may use it in real life, but the title is, right now is Passengers. Boss frowned at the image from Picea's visual implants. He thumbed open the connection to her audio implant. Kiddo, nothing about your mission requires picking up passengers. The video under her monitor looked the young man up and down. Dark hair, glasses, beard. Picea's only type was alive. But this fellow had the spark of intelligence in his eyes that she'd like even better. Given a choice, she always picked the smart ones. Excuse me, while well, I change into something more comfortable, she said, presumably to the young man. She left the room and addressed Bosk directly. He was stuck on that last station. I couldn't just leave him there. And you know I'd be bored on a ship full of bots. Her shirt flew off. And besides, he can help. Another shirt went on. With those bots? Discovering their true destination? When I met him, he was talking to one. He wants to know if they tell stories. Fiction, I mean. He's a writer. It's even in his name. Joseph Cameron Word Smith. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Cassiopeian? Picea glanced her left hand in affirmation. They signed the Intelligent Bot Accord. That's why he can't do this at home. He had to come looking for AI bots. That's not the point of your mission. He's following up on the work done by this scientist on Earth, Angela Brett. She has bots who <laughs> sing and write poetry. Picea looked in the mirror and fluffed her dark curls. He looked shy. That means he'll be fun. <laughs> Next up is Joseph, who I believe wrote a continuation to that scene. And then uh, Jill had put me in her story, so I felt like I had to continue that. <laughs> she grinned and propelled herself through the bifold doors with a flourish. The doors were automated, of course. So were the lights, meal preparation, and a dozen other mundane processes. But she'd set the override after Joseph stepped into the hall. Picea liked to make an entrance. And now that the ship was hosting another human, she reasoned that protocol was due for an upgrade. Joseph was standing near the observatory nervously. He certainly was not an expert, but Picea's new shirt looked identical to the old one, which meant that she'd most likely invented a reason to leave the room. But despite only knowing her for a few hours, something unconscious whispered that she could be trusted. She'd rescued him, offered him passage. On some planets, they'd be practically engaged. That's much better, Picea said, smoothing out the fabric. Learning anything interesting from my friends here? She gestured to a trio of bots who seemed to be overly engrossed in tightening a nearby butterfly valve. Well, the SR-71 claims to have a mammoth library of centurion poetry from the second epoch. Joseph's fingers glided through his dark hair, making concentric circles. That's unusual for this particular model. Production didn't begin until 40 or 70 years after that age ended, depending on whether you're using the sanctioned history or not. But either way, the records were destroyed, and yet 10 minutes ago, your bot was reciting stanzas of it. Her peripheral vision snagged a light fragment dancing across his glasses, creating the illusion of two Pisces, an enchantment for her alone. I've had some questions regarding their origin for some time. I wonder if you careful, Bosk's voice in her ear. Yes? We'll come back to that. Uh, it doesn't stick in the Cassiopeian's collective craw that you're doing this type of research. You're a citizen. Aren't you bound by the IBA? In theory. A past due pregnant pause between them. She fiddled with her wrist clasps. So how well do you know this Angela Brett? <laughs> We didn't tell Angela we were doing this. <laughs> His shoulders slackened and he exhaled slowly. We lost contact a few weeks ago. She's the head of Angelastic Labs, and I have heard that her bots somehow achieved sent sentience and started broadcasting their creations. I was tracking down a possible lead before I got stranded at the station this morning, and there's reason to believe she's still on Earth. Where exactly is a little uncertain. 
Paisia closed her eyes and a terminal materialized from the adjacent workstation, responding instantly to the command her axon implant had sent. I'm checking the last known coordinates for Angelastic Labs. If she's out there, we'll find her. <laughs>